Hello friends, welcome to Global Studio YouTube channel. In this video, we will do the analysis on simply supported beam in SOLIDWORKS. So without any delay, let's jump into the video. As a first step, we have to create a beam. Go to design library and then select the toolbox. Click on ISO and then click on structural members. Click on SB beam. Right click to the SBB and click on create part. And under this configure component, select the size SB100 into 8 and then keep the length 1000 mm. And rest of the data keep as it is and then click on OK. Now we are working on simply supported beam, that means both sides are supported. Click on this face and click on sketch. Select rectangle and create a rectangle like this. So, here into the helm of the bottom of it. Take rectangle option again and create a one more rectangle like this. Give the dimension 35. And for this also, give the dimension as 35. Go to features and click on curves. Take the split line option and then select the face. And then click on OK. As you can see guys here, these two areas we can consider as support areas for the simply supported beam. Because both ends of the simply supported beam is supported. Go to simulation and click on new study. Click on static and then click on OK. The first step is to apply the material. Click on apply material. I will select the ASI 1020 material and then click on apply. After applying the material, we have to follow these five steps. First, we have to select the connections. But in our model, there is no connections. So we can avoid this step. Go to fixtures. Click on fix geometry and select one end of the area and then click on OK. Click on fixture again. This time we will apply the roller and slider support on the other end. Click on the area and then click on OK. And after giving fixtures, go to external loads, right click and then click on force. Select the face and then give the load. We will apply 100 kg of load. In Newton, it will be 981 Newton. Simply multiply 100 into 9.81 and then click on OK. After giving the external load, we have to create the mesh. Click on mesh, right click on mesh and then click on create mesh. All the options keep it as it is and then click on OK. As you can see, we have generated the meshing for the simply supported beam. Now it's time for the results. Click on this run this study and it will start solving the problem. After running this study, go to result advisor and click on new plot. Under this new plot, add the factor of safety. Keep all the options as it is and then click on OK. Now we have generated a simulation report and we will start reading the stress chart click on stress as you can see here the maximum stress it is undergoing 9.985 into 10 to the power 6 but the maximum yield strength is 3.516 into 10 to the power 8 that means the yield strength of the material is more than the stress that beam is undergoing that means this beam is safe for 100 kg of load if you click on the displacement result you can see 2.574 into 10 to the power minus 2 that means 0.02574 mm it is moving that means for this 100 kg of load this beam is perfectly safe click on factor of safety and we will check the factor of safety as you can see here the factor of safety is 35 that means it can take 35 times of the current load 35 into 100 the minimum factor of safety is 3 or more than that but 35 is considered as a over design so it is not recommended and also it is depending on the application you are using and that's all guys for this video 
and i hope you guys learn this simulation hope you like this video and also guys this is a series of video i am creating for the simulation and i have also provided a playlist in my description please follow that playlist and kindly support as you will gain complete knowledge in analysis and once again thank you for watching this video we will meet again in the next video with the new simulation tutorial bye bye